Hi everyone, my name is Hope. I will be giving you guys a tour of the Maple Hill Complex. Before we start, I'm going to let the cameraman introduce himself. Yes, let's see if I can turn this around. Perfect. Hey everyone, my name is Henry. I'm going to be monitoring the chat today. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll be sure to ask Hope them. And uh, if there's any like glitches in the feed or anything, be sure to let me know. We can get that sorted out. And also in the meantime, let us know where you're tuning in from, like city and state. But Hope, what's first up on the agenda? Alrighty, we're actually going to step outside first. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the outside of the buildings and where each building is located. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, cool 102 degree degrees today. Yes, that is why we're not going to stand here for too long. Just uh -huh. put everything out. Yeah. So, um, if we look this way, this is the courtyard of Maple East and Maple West. Maple West is on the left, Maple East is on the right. We just came from Maple East. Mm -hmm. And then we look the opposite way. The building over there is Maple South. Maple South is its own building. It has its own desk, whereas of Maple East and West share a desk. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different with packages over at Maple East and West than it is at South. Gotcha. And we've already gotten some questions in. What building were we in? We were in Maple Hill East. And can you go into a suite with a loft? We will be going into a lofted suite, but that'll be towards uh, the end of the show. All the maples have key fobs. And those get you in and out of the building. If you live in Maple East, you can only get into Maple East. Same thing with South, same thing with West. Gotcha. Alrighty. We're going to come back to where we were. Again, this is Maple East. Mm -hmm. This is the front desk. This is where you're going to be able to check out any equipment. Maple East and West will pick up packages from this desk, as well as mail. Maple South, again, has their own desk. Looks exactly similar, again, on the first floor. Maple South will get their packages and their mail from Maple South. Gotcha. But yeah, as I said before, you can check out any type of equipment. Um, we'll see a pool table and a ping pong table and things like that in these buildings. You can check out stuff for that, board games. I think there's even like Wii games back here. Mm -hmm. There's movies, kind of almost anything you can think of. Come to desk. RAs are usually here till about 10 p.m. And you can check them out. Gotcha. It has all the games. Yes. All the games you can imagine. Alrighty. We're going to come this way. This is like the parlor area of Maple East. It is right next to the desk. Uh, there is a ping pong table. And you'll see people obviously playing ping pong here almost any hour of the day. There's almost always someone playing ping pong here or chilling in the lobby. We come over here. We'll run into a little study room. It's a, little, it's a little nice kind of sun room area. Yeah. Sometimes people like to study in here. Mm -hmm. It's also a really nice quiet place because there's not a lot of people in and out of this because it is only one way in, one way out. Gotcha. So it is a nice little area. And there's these study, so we're in Maple Hill East, but these uh, kind of common areas are throughout the maples? Yes. Gotcha. Alrighty. We're going to head into the um, to our right, we'll be able to see some mailboxes. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, you can see what mailbox you have in the housing portal. Mm -hmm. And if we keep coming this way, I can introduce you guys to the CREs of the Maples. Hello, who wants to go first? <laughs> okay. Kaylee, let's go first. Um, I'm the coordinator for residence education for Maple Hill South. Gotcha. Hey everybody, my name's Talia. I'm the CRE for Maple West. And I am Matt, and I'm the CRE of Maple East. Gotcha. Can one of y'all explain what a CRE is? Cool. So a CRE is someone who pretty much oversees the day-to-day -day operations of everything going on in this building. Uh, we'll supervise all the resident assistants in here. We kind of oversee everything going on at the front desk. And then everything that happens in here, we're responsible for. So all of the programming efforts, um, everything that you see going on in the building, that, that's our staff running it. We'll do all the purchasing, planning, everything like that. And then if you're having roommate conflicts or anything like that, that the RAs may not be able to fully address, that's when you'll come to us and talk to us about everything. Awesome. Gotcha. Well, y'all let us know if you have any questions for our CREs. And in the meantime, where will we head to next? Alrighty, we're going to check out a little bit more common areas before we head up to the rooms. Um, actually, just this way, one of the special things about the Maples is that it has its own mental health services. Mm -hmm. And there is a... It's like counselor and, counselor, and, yes. and residence. Right over like there. Oh, and the vending There's machines back vending there, machines too. And bathrooms, also, as well as some classrooms in the Maples. There are some classes held here. If you're in a university perspectives class, that's what's usually held in the Maples. Gotcha. So what are you studying? What's your major? <laughs> I am double majoring in chemical engineering and chemistry and triple minoring in physics, math, and 
math and sociology. Oh, wow. All of the, all of the, the majors and minors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, this is one of the pool tables that I mentioned before. This is one of the common areas. Mm-hmm. We're actually going to head up to the fourth floor and look at some rooms over there. Gotcha. And y'all, we're going to the elevator right now, so we may lose a little bit of connection. Um, so bear with us if we do. And in the meantime, Hope, you're going to be an RA next semester, right? Yes. Could you explain what an RA is and what they do? Yeah, so an RA stands for resident assistant. We basically help with the transition between high school to college. We oversee conflicts that may happen between people, and we make sure that everyone in the building feels safe and secure with their first year college. Gotcha. Almost there. And you're going to be in one of the Maples, right? Yes, I'll be in Maple West. Cool. So maybe some people of you in the stream right now will be able to meet you in person. Are you, are you going to do any uh, programming for them? Oh, 100%. What is, what is, a, what is one of your programs look like? Um, I've kind of done programs any style, really. Mm-hmm. I've done mm-hmm. anything from like baking programs to like planting flowers to actually almost everything. Mm-hmm. I've also like partnered up with other RAs and things like that, and we've had like programs. I know one of the RAs in my building last year I was really good friends with and we did a lot of programs together which brought up more residents because they wanted to know more about us and wanted to know more about each other things like that. It's building really cool. community. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right so we're actually going to go into this study. In the Maples there is a main study on each floor and this one's it. There's going to be a TV, a toaster oven, a microwave, and a sink. On the first floor in the Maples, there is a stove and oven, but it's only on the first floor. Gotcha. All right, so several common spaces throughout the Maples. Seems like you can always find find one somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Do you do any, uh, I know that gaming sometimes happens in that space. Sometimes. Do you do any of that? My, I am not personally a gamer. Mm-hmm. Um, I know last year, uh, a lot more movie nights happened in these spaces, mm-hmm. personally for myself than gaming nights. Gotcha. Alrighty, so we're gonna head down the hallway and just a reminder, we're in Maple East right now. Mm -hmm. Um, We said earlier that it is really, really hot today, so we're not gonna be building, jumping between the three, Mm -hmm. but all the maples are basically the same building. Gotcha. So if we come in here, this is a laundry room. There's two laundry rooms on each floor. They're identical to this. We have two washers and two dryers. Mm -hmm. Um, We are switching to a new system this year you will be able to have two washes and two drives per week. Mm-hmm. And it will be through an app that you guys will download once you guys get here. Yeah, and it's called Speed Queen. Yes. Speed. Basically, I'm pretty sure how they're doing it, they're going to QR card, they're going to scan it, and that's how they keep track of your washes and drives. Gotcha. And so next up is the uh, study room at the end of the hall, right? Yes, we're going gotcha. to look at another study room over on the left, mm-hmm. and we'll point out the one on the right. Um, the one on the right, there's not much to see. It's kind of uh, gives like a conference room kind of area. Mm-hmm. There's like a table with a bunch of chairs and a whiteboard. Mm-hmm. I know that a lot of my friends like to use it last year to like study gotcha. and do like practice things on A lot of late nights for midterms and finals. Oh yeah. All right. So this is another one of the studies that you'll see. There's gonna be two studies like this on each floor. And then as I mentioned, of the other type of study, there's also gonna be two of the other. Mm. There's four on each floor? Or I think yeah, someone said? Yeah, there's four studies, but there's two that look like this. Gotcha, all right. And then there's two that look like um, whiteboard with a bunch of tables. Okay. And now we're moving on to, to some rooms, right? There's so much room for activities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, um, we're gonna look at the loft. Yeah, let's look at the loft first, and then we'll mm-hmm. go to the more typical, yeah, the more typical room. Mm-hmm. And I believe it'll be this one on the left. We are in Maple East four seventeen right now. Gotcha. Alrighty, so this is one of the loft rooms. These are like one of the most common and most popular rooms like well-wanted rooms in the Maples. Mm-hmm. Um, these host four people. You've got two and two in two and A and two and B. You have your own bathroom and you have your own vanity. Mm-hmm. That's one of the perks of the Maples is everybody has their own bathroom. Gotcha. So we'll look quickly in here. Let's turn on the light in this 
And all the furniture is the same for each of the rooms? Yes. For the most part? Yes. Gotcha. And then we can look at the bathroom really quick. And then we can go up uh, and see the, see the loft. That's the unique space. Mm -hmm. Be sure you all to let us know if you have any questions about the rooms, about living in the maples. We have a question. Um, are the floors themselves co-ed? Yes, floors themselves are co-ed, but rooms are either male or female. Mm -hmm. And are shower curtains provided? I believe they were, right? Yes, shower curtains are provided. You can bring your own, but again, you can't like get rid of your old one because mm -hmm. we need those for that name. Gotcha. And yes, the lofts do come with uh, furniture, so I just asked. And someone just asked, the new washing system this year is two washes and two dryers per week. That is correct. Um, and then after that, you'll be uh, charged a certain amount. Um, $1.50. For, like, $1.50 for each additional one. All right. Now we're going to look at a typical room in the Maples. This is what almost every single room looks like. We're going to look at room 408, Maple East. We have a living room area, and then we have... A room that hosts two people, and B room that hosts two people, a sink and vanity, and a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So here's what a room looks like. And y'all let us know if the audio or video is, uh, is acting up. So we're going to open up one of these. And so there's also a little nightstand in here as well that you can take out, or a little yes. additional drawers. And someone just asked, are there dressers in the room or just the armoire? Um, there is a dresser inside of the armoire mm -hmm. that we just showed. So this people, is the, the dresser. Yes, people gotcha. take these out so they have more space in the armoires and they use them as dressers. Mm -hmm. They can have this nightstand, mm -hmm. either or. Gotcha. And all this furniture is movable. And someone just asked, will these be online to watch after? And yes, they will. All right. Can you so now, view in the bathroom? Yeah, so we'll see the bathroom, and then we'll look in here. And someone just asked, is the lower rod in the wardrobe removable? Yes. Gotcha. And so we just show the bathroom, and someone asked, are you able to provide measurements? And yes, we are, so just let us know what you want us to measure, and we'll be sure to tell you. Someone just asked, could you show one of the rooms that has only one two-person bedroom with a living space and a bathroom? Um, I believe these are the only two rooms that we're going to be showing, right, Christopher? Yeah, today it is. Just we have a camp in here. Yeah. Um, what was that configuration again? It was uh, a one room, two one two-person bedroom with a living space and a bathroom. Gotcha. Okay. Actually, we have one, one mm -hmm. floor, okay. so we will be able to show. Okay, gotcha. We can go see that quickly. And people asking uh, dimensions of the furniture, we can get that measured out too, since the furniture is the same. Here we go, just for you. All right, so here is um, the two-person bedroom. Showing what this is like. Again, same furniture, bathroom is about the same size, mm -hmm. and then they do have still have the vanities. Gotcha. And someone just asked a dimension question with the furniture. What are the dimensions of the drawers and the desk? So I'm guessing this right here. Um, length, it is 1.8. Mm -hmm. Width, it is. One foot two. One foot two. And then the height, it is about eight inches. Gotcha. 
And then could you measure that bottom one too, since it looks a little bit different as well? So it's going to be the same look, um, length uh, and width. Mm -hmm. okay. Just see what the height is. And then after this, I have some questions for, uh, for our series to answer. So one question we had was, how many people can help during move-in? Can one of you all explain how that process works? What do you say, how many people can, can help? How many people can, oh, how many people can come help uh, during move-in? You can bring as many as you can in your car mm -hmm. um, safely. Um, I know in previous years, when we had in the middle of COVID, you were limited to two at a time. Uh, but right now, there's no restrictions on how people can come help move-in. Um, but you only get two vehicles, um, and your parking pass is only going to work for 30 minutes once you get here. Um, and we are very strict on that one, um, so you can't just like go and come back and just drop off. Um, you won't be let back into the parking lot. Um, so be very strategic with those two vehicles and showing up at your arrival time. Uh, but you can bring as many people as you want in at the moment. Gotcha. Something to keep in mind too is that you can't like attach a trailer to your car, or we won't let any U-Hauls into the parking lot either. So. Mm -hmm. Just remember that when you try to show up with one, because we won't let you in a lot. Gotcha. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, follow <laughs> at you are Maple Hill on Instagram. We're doing a little series right now. Um, it's just tips for move-in days from our RAs who have done move-in a couple of times. So if you don't already follow the Maple Hill Instagram account, definitely do that. Get some advice on move-in day. Gotcha. And then this wasn't a question in the chat, but kind of one that I had. So there's uh, there's several different types of suites, right? Um, how can you find uh, like what suite you have? Uh, so that'll be where you contracted in your housing portal and on your housing contract. Um, it should tell you exactly what you have and what you signed up for. Mm -hmm. And then if you go out, go to the UARC housing webpage and you go to the halls, mm -hmm. under floor plans, we'll have the little appendixes where you can click on the different type of suite that you've selected. Um, all the amenities are going to be the same in there, like in terms of furniture. Um, so yes, everyone will have a desk. Yes, everyone will have a dresser, a wardrobe, things like that. Um, just all the floor plans will be on there. Gotcha. Awesome. Thanks, y'all. All right, uh, we had another question. Betwe the distance between the beds by the window, what is the distance? So it really varies for each room, and I think this was asked when we were in the main room earlier, so we may want to go back to that one, since that's the most typical one. Okay. I think, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and do we'll that. Back yeah. We want them unlocked. All right, let me see what other questions we have in the meantime. Are any of the drawers able to be locked? Uh, if you bring your own lock, you can lock them. Mm -hmm. There's one on the desk and then one on the wardrobe. Gotcha. Perfect. All right. Um, oh, perfect. The distance between the bed is four foot nine. Four foot nine, okay. And like we said, y'all, this is gonna vary for each, just because there's 13 different types of suites. Uh, we can't get measurements for all of those, but we'll, we'll be probably gonna be focusing on this room since it's the most similar. If you, all the distances are like the sizes of the beds are the same. So if you take the sizes of the beds and then subtract that from the room, mm -hmm. that can also gotcha. figure out your dimensions. Okay, and then next question. Um, I, think, I think we're all up to date on those questions. But in the meantime, Hope, would you rather talk about um, A week or pick one? I'll talk about A week. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> a week is, uh, takes place the week before classes start here mm -hmm. and right after move in. And basically it's a week where you get to experience um, traditions of the university, traditions of Fayetteville, and just kind of get to transition, in, uh, small transition before classes start into like everyday life of college and what it means to like be a Razorback fan. Mm -hmm. uh, they have really cool, we host really cool programs here. We have things like the Taste of Fayetteville where they have a bunch of vendors from the area come and like give people samples of their food. You might be able to find like a new favorite like um, ice cream spot or um, night out spot by that. That's always really popular and really fun. Mm -hmm. They have things such as Chocolate Wasted, which is like an Avacy thing. It's a little dance party. They also give like, out hence the name, a lot mm -hmm. of like different sweets, chocolate. And they also do this really cool thing where they go down to the stadium and they teach you 
all of the different hog calls that we do at games and just yeah. like different traditions of the school so you can be a proper Razorback fan at games. And they host so much more. There will be a calendar posted on your doors mm -hmm. um, with events and times. And RAs will also tell you what's all going on for the week. But I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, it sounds like a good time to you know, do things with your friends and get to know a lot of people. Yes. So we have several more questions coming in. The next one is, can we see the towel racks in the bathroom again, please? Yeah. Let's go see that. So here are the towel racks. There are four for each, uh, each resident in the room. And those are built into the wall so they can't, can't be removed. Yes. Next question is the dimensions of this bedroom. So here, let me get let me get out of your way because you can do it do it across from there. Alrighty, eleven by eight. Eleven this by one. eight and length, then. and then maybe if you put it up here and then aim for the window or a little past the window. Thirteen by seven. So thirteen by uh, thirteen seven inches uh, length, and then eleven eight inches width. And then the height is um, nine by two. Nine, uh, nine feet two inches. And then they're requesting dimensions of the desk. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Alright. Two by two. Two by two. And then can you? I can hold that paper if you want. Yeah. Uh, four foot four feet long, and then you could probably put it at the top right here to see how tall it is. Or uh, rather, right here, so that way you can see the total. Yeah. Um, the length to the desk is 2.3, and then the length to the floor total height is 4.9. 4 foot 9. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll keep that, these questions coming. Can the black bar be lowered on the bed? Um, so uh, these bars are called stabilizer bars. They're there because these beds can loft pretty high and they're just a safety measure. Mm -hmm. We ask um, if that bar is at the top, if it's towards the lower end, if your bed's lofted lower, and then if it is lofted to the top, mm -hmm. it's lofted lower. These do remove, but we ask you to put them back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If and, you move the bed around. Yeah, and they can be uh, removed with a mallet that you can check out from the front desk. Yes. Will a tension rod fit in the window frame in front of the blinds? Um, it will if you can find one. Yeah. Um, I've seen people do that before where they use a tension rod, and I've also seen people where they put like um, the larger command hooks mm -hmm. and get a curtain rod and put it on top of that, like above it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then I have a question. Are one of our is one of our series in here? Okay. Want to get one? Yeah. yeah. So, um, do you know what furniture, oh, we got all three, perfect. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you know what furniture comes in a three-person suite? Is it any different from the standard furniture? Nope, all the furniture will be the same. And actually, if you go online and you look at the list of amenities on the housing website, um, it'll all be listed right there. Okay, perfect. But there isn't any like extra like common furniture, common space furniture or anything. It's just like three beds, three mm -hmm. beds, yeah. Gotcha. All right, next question. What is the common slash average height to loft a bed? Hmm. It's, I, it's always a range. Yeah, yeah. it's a range. Uh, people will sometimes loft them all the way to the top. I think it depends what you want to fit in your room and what you want mm -hmm. to bring. Um, a lot of people like to put their desk underneath their beds to free up a little bit more space. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, usually people do loft it to the highest height. Yeah. But um, also people keep them just this normal height that we have them lofted at the end of the year and also when they move in, they all them sometimes to about here, like mm -hmm. about four foot off the ground. Yeah. It's kind of varied. It depends how much stuff you have mm -hmm. and how you feel about it. Could you uh, take the uh, the measure and see like the tallest height right here? I've got it right here. Oh, there we um, go. This is, this is actually very, very uh, changeable. Mm -hmm. You can go from three to 71 inches. Three to 71 inches. So almost, almost six feet. And each of the uh, the little wedges, and I, I can yep. show three, you here. Three inch intervals. Yeah, three inch intervals for the wedges. So you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to the bed frame. Next question is dimensions of the wardrobe. 
All right. We might uh, have it already listed on there. Yeah, let's see if we if we have it because it's a it's a little little tall. Um, <laughs> yeah, just a little. I'm guessing like like eight. Well, maybe seven feet. The wardrobe is eighty one inches tall. Eighty one inches tall. Twenty four inches wide. Twenty four. Thirty five inches long. Twenty four inches wide, and what was the last one? Um, Thirty four. Wardrobe is. 81 heights, width is 24, length is 35. Gotcha. All right. If you loft the bed all the way, do you know how much room between the mattress and the ceiling? So I guess, mm -hmm. what would, what, so we calculated out for the height, it was nine. 71 inches is the height of the beds and then the mattress. So we have the height of the room, because we're yeah. looking at the difference between the two. Yeah. Uh, we don't, can you measure yeah. the height? Measure it again. Oh. Or uh, put it on the, on the floor. On the floor. Um, nine by two. I mean, nine foot two. Sorry. Nine, nine foot two. two. So how many how many inches is that? Nine. That's <laughs> ninety ninety seven minus times seven. Nine. So ninety seven minus. Wait, is that right? We twelve times nine. Twelve times nine to get the number of inches plus whatever it was. It was nine nine feet. What? Nine foot two. Nine foot two. Nine so foot two. Nine times twelve plus two would be the number of inches tall. One forty six minus seventy one. Okay. What is that? Ah. Oh wow. Uh, uh, this is like, I mean, I was like, you you can use a, you can use a calculator. I won't I won't shame you. The difference is on the fly. I can actually have a calculator. So if you can give me the. Oh well, we're silly. You could just do that. Well, so if you have your bed loft at the highest height, that leaves three foot two, and then the bed uh, mattress width is, I believe, three inches. Mm -hmm. So you basically have two eleven to the ceiling. Gotcha. Well enough room that you won't be like hitting your head. Yeah, make sure you're not like super tall though, you know. All right, so what does storage area look like in the sink area? So let's go to the sink. All right, so you have these two cabinets down here, open up mm -hmm. in a big open space. And then you have six drawers. They're all the same length, mm -hmm. all the same size. Gotcha. All right. Width from door to wall. Will two desks fit on that wall? This wall, maybe. Yeah. So I am. I don't think you're gonna be able to fit two desks here. Um. Yeah. I'm not sure about that either. Yes. It's seven foot ten, and a desk is four foot long. Yeah. So you're so gonna miss it by a foot, right? Our theories are saying that you can, but it's <sighs> super tight. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Technically possible, but not advised. What are the dimensions of the couch and the loft suites? Do we uh, have those? Are we, we going to have those right now? Mm -hmm. We can go back to the loft in a second and get those. Yeah, let me see if we're up to date on these other questions. Let me grab the, uh, the other yeah. measurement tool and I'll be right back. Yeah. In the meantime, do you recommend bringing a broom or small vacuum? Yeah, that's what I figured. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. so, something. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. You don't really need both, but definitely one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, question coming in. So, no common room furniture in a room with three beds in one room? Nope. Perfect. Gotcha. What is the depth of the mattress? I think you said it was three inches. I want to say it's about three inches. We can measure it real quick. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's actually like six inches. So oh, six inches. Okay, gotcha. All right. If both desks are at the foot of the bed, is there enough room to place wardrobes side by side? I've seen that done before, but again, be careful how you arrange the rooms. Otherwise, you're gonna have like very narrow spaces because the desk. Yeah are quite, as you could tell, a bit wider than the bed. So if you mm -hmm. come at the edge of the bed, they're gonna be really close together. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. All right, so let's go into the living room because the next question we have is what size couch fits in the sitting area? So I figure we can just measure that and uh, and see. So let's measure this. Um, 8 foot 7. So 8 foot 7 inches long, and then how about we... Uh, from here to there, yeah. Actually, um, yeah, you can just put it from there to the wall. Uh, five foot ten. Five foot ten, gotcha. 
So that's all the questions we have for now. But in the meantime, for our series, do you all have any advice, words of wisdom for, for freshmen coming in? Anyone want to start? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds really easy, but it can be kind of hard to get yourself out of your room, especially when you're in a suite. Because, I mean, there are two doors that you have to get through versus just the one. And, it, like I said, it sounds ridiculous, but it can be really difficult to push yourself to actually go out and explore campus and meet new people. But do it. And A-Week and Welcome Weeks are going to be kind of the two easiest times for you to do that because there is so much going on. And people from all over campus are out and about and enjoying the events. Like, it's never the kind of thing where you have to be like, oh, am I going to show up at this thing and nobody's going to be there? No, ever, so many people are going to be there. Mm-hmm. And there are also opportunities for those who maybe don't like larger crowds. Like, there are smaller events and smaller spaces that you can check out, too, during those weeks. That way you don't get, you know, too overwhelmed. Awesome. Thank you, Talia. Any other advice? I can echo that enough. Like, there's so much to do on this campus if you get out of your room. But if you stay in your room, this will become the smallest, most boring campus in the entire world mm-hmm. if you just stay in these walls. Please leave. Um, go out and do fun things. There's so much going on. And in terms of moving in, don't overpack. Like, I, I, we say this a lot, but, like, it's don't underpack when you first show up because what's going to happen is you're going to overpack and you're going to get here and you're going to be stuck. Like, if you're from the Dallas area, Texas, or somewhere where, like, it's far away, Illinois, something like that, and you can't just go home on a weekend, whatever you brought is probably staying here until winter break, and your room's going to be very incredibly packed, especially as you pick up free stuff and that stuff throughout the year. So don't overpack. Like if you can't see out the back window of your car when you're driving here, <laughs> we may have overpacked. And if you were considering a U-Haul, you definitely overpacked. Um, because a U-Haul is realistically just about as big as this room. And if you're filling that up with stuff, you brought too much stuff. So underpack, Amazon's your friend. Our front desk people would love to help you with those packages and everything like that. Um, but plan ahead, underpack, and you'll be fine. Awesome. I think if you don't use it at home, you're definitely not going to use it here. So just keep that in mind as you're packing. Um, but trying to give you all unique advice that these two haven't already given you. Mm-hmm. Um, I think like get to know the housing staff. So like get to know us, get to know your RAs. If there's something that you want to see in your hall, like talk to your RA and we can, if we can't make it happen, maybe we can make something else happen. Like if you want to have a paint night, like, talk to your RA about that. So if you're if you're bored or you have a great idea, like don't just let that idea kind of fizzle out. Like definitely go talk to somebody and see if we can make it work. Gotcha. Thank you all for the advice. We're going to move on to our next questions. I had uh, dimensions for oh, the couch. It perfect. It's 81 inches long mm-hmm. and it is uh, 32 inches deep mm-hmm. and 31 inches high. Gotcha. All right. Thank you, Christopher. So next question. Um, someone asked, is the sweet question mark? So I don't know if that was a typo, but if you have a question, feel free to, to ask it again. Next thing is couch in a sitting area for three beds. Uh, sorry if you answered before. So we haven't seen a three bed, uh, three bedroom, but would it be around this or we'll just go to the housing website to see these uh, inches? Just go to the housing website, but it's around this size mm-hmm. um, pretty much. They're actually one of our rarer suites, so they're not readily available right now, especially when we have camps and all these maples. Mm-hmm. Um, we just don't have access to all of our suite styles right now, um, but they're all very similar. Um, the common space is just going to be laid out a little bit differently, a little bit longer than it is wide, um, but it's all super similar. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's, we're all up to date on the questions. Did you want to talk about pick one or does any of our series want to talk about pick one or I could do it if no one wants to? I'm going to be doing pick one. I actually right. do not know that much about it. All right. <laughs> we'll present it for you, Henry. <laughs> You've probably talked about it enough. Um, so pick one is this initiative through the university that started last year. That before you arrive on campus, we want you all to go and pick one student organization that you are interested in and want to attend. During A Week, which is the welcome week that you all have all probably heard a million things about and seen your emails and everything like that, those organizations are going to have a meeting for you to go and just figure out, like, am I actually interested in this club or not? And during that week, you'll meet new people, you'll see that organization, you can decide if I hate it or like, this sounds really fun. Um, and so that's our initiative. We know it can be really hard to get on campus. so. We try to set up these meetings to go meet all these new people all at once. You're not the only one showing up to that meeting who's never been there before. That's the idea. Everyone there will probably be new except for the club officers. Um, we do shamelessly plug our few housing ones like Lead Hogs. Um, Lead Hogs is a really fun leadership program on campus. Um, when you hear leadership, you probably think that's really boring in the classroom. No, we try and get you all into the community planning things. Um, if you're ever interested in like legislation, RIC, things like that, 
he gets involved with hall legislation. You can plan those programs in the building. I know our league halls last year, uh, they planned different programs. We did candy grants for Valentine's Day. We hung up, we made uh, birdhouses, hung them up around the community. Previous years, they've gone trips to Crystal Bridges, everything like that. And we'll give you money to do what you want to do. Is there, like Kayla said, talk to us. If there's a program you all want to do, if you all want to have a Super Bowl party, talk to us. If you all want to have a very random Mario, like Mario party night, cool, let us know. Like we're happy to do all those things. And you get involved through lead hogs. Um, also, if you wanted to ever be interested about being an RA, that's a really good way to get to know some housing staff, um, get to know more about housing in the university. And that's honestly getting involved. It's gonna be every Monday night at six. And if you're in the Maples, we actually, Maples Reed, uh, we actually have a Tuesday night option for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you can still do fraternity, sorority life, and still be involved in lead hogs. There is the ability to do both. Um, so that's our shameless plug for lead hogs as your pick one. Awesome, thank Something you. Something I do want to say. This is not a Yeah, yeah swooped in. Yes. Something I do want to say about the pick one too is that if you sign up for something now because you think it's interesting, you're not signing your life away. You don't have to go back if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. So just know it's a really low commitment. Like Matt said, it's literally just a way for you to learn about something with other people who also have no idea what it is. It's also on Hogsync, which you haven't heard about Hogsync yet. Ooh. You didn't go to an orientation session, session with Leslie Parker because <laughs> he is such a hype man for that. Mm -hmm. Hogsync is where we keep all of our events on campus. Everyone has access to it with a student account. We do random giveaways with emails on there that are active. We can see who's active. We send out hall information. It's where you're going to find out everything going on, not only in your building, but on campus. So if you want to find out about the annual golf tournament that Maple Hill hosts, that's where you're going to find out about it. If you want to hear about the lights at Maples, that's where you're going to see it. If you want to hear about like the Pomfret Pomfre Island getaway down there that you can go to, that's where you're going to see it. So all these things that are happening on campus, that is your go-to spot um, to see all the fun stuff that's happening in this community. And honestly, there's a ton. I think on average, we're doing 100 plus events on campus a month. So I promise you there's something going on every day. All you have to do is look on Hogsink and you'll find it. Gotcha. Kaylee, did you have something to say before Talia swooped in? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I was just going to say, like, going back to pick one, obviously we'd love if you'll say with housing for lead hogs, RIC, but even if you don't choose a housing pick one, just pick one. Um, mm -hmm. If there's something that you're interested in, like Talia and Matt both said, get involved, get out of your room, pick one is an easy way to do it with people, like Talia said, that are just as kind of new as you are. So even if you don't pick housing, just to find something that pick one sure happy. yeah pick one gotcha all right i have a really tough question for y'all where do we put our trash oh that's easy um, <laughs> so in the common space or in the main elevator lot of each floor there's gonna be a trash chute mm -hmm. um all of your cardboard don't need to get brought down to the first floor please 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 i can't ask it can't ask this enough please bring your cardboard down to the first floor you'll meet your isa staff they're our cleaning staff they're the sweetest human beings um, and they get here at 5, 6 a.m. every day to start cleaning these buildings and making sure that's meeting the standards we want to be met for y'all. If y'all can do them the favor of just bringing that cardboard down to the first floor, you'll make their lives so much easier. Otherwise, they're spending hours in these three buildings bringing cardboard down. Bring your trash there, bring your cardboard down, um, and that'll be so much appreciated. It's super easy. As you're going to the elevator, you go to class, it's right there next to it. Um, we'll show y'all during your floor meetings as well where it is. Um, and also, if we do that right, um, we don't have to think about any like community fines, which sometimes we unfortunately run into when floors repeatedly um, struggle with trash disposal. Um, so it's right there in the community uh, lobby right there, right by the elevators, and it's super easy. Gotcha. Maple cells are not um, in the, by the elevators, they're actually at the end of the hallways near the study rooms, like we saw earlier. So to where Maple East and Left are in the center, um, Maple cells are on the end of each side of the hallway. Gotcha. Thank you all. Now I just want to mention about the ISAs real quick because um, I know that when I have done some tours over the summer, I have gotten this question, but ISA will not come to rooms and clean. They're only here to clean the common areas. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need that broom and vacuum. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Gotcha. So another question, do you recommend individual shower caddies for each roommate or is there a room in the shower for a share, shared shelf and rack? I definitely recommend bringing Mm -hmm. something to like store stuff in the shower because there is like a little little space mm -hmm. that can probably hold like one or two bottles of something mm -hmm. but i do recommend either bring something that attaches to the shower like the shower head mm -hmm. or um one of the tension rods that have different like baskets gotcha um, we can look in the shower really quick to, again see what's like because i don't think we looked inside so this is what the shower 
shower looks like. I mean, There's this a, is a little. Mm, gotcha. So it could be a little crowded with the with all the all the roommates. Yes. All right. So it looks like we're all up to date on the questions. So we'll give it a little bit more. But um, for our series, any favorite any favorite memories of Maples? Any favorite programs? Anything like that? Um, my favorite program is an initiative started a couple of years ago. Um, it's called the Lights at Maples. Um, it's become a kind of a campus staple now. We're starting the first Sunday back from Thanksgiving break. The, all these lights in the Maples courtyard and leading up to Maples are actually going to be lit up with holiday lights. Um, and we turn those on every night in the winter. Um, a couple nights out of the year, we'll also have fire pits set up out there. We'll do s'mores, we'll do really fun things like that. It's honestly so pretty. Um, and it's just a really great time. People from all across the campus, we'll come, we open up to the community. We get a lot of families that come through um, just to see. It's a really nice light tour. Um, that the Maples team is going to be running this year and making it happen. And honestly, that's been one of my favorite things that we've seen here. It's just a very unique thing. Gotcha. For me, I am actually new to the community. I used to be in Hope and Future, but uh, one of my favorites that I came over here for was breakfast, which is like late night breakfast vibes, pancakes, bacon, eggs, all of that. Um, it was just really fun, really chilly. You got to stop by and grab some food and then hang out and chat with people or you just take a tour room if you wanted to. Gotcha. Um, mine is not a standard program that we do every year, but this past year we had a lot of snow days. And that's probably my favorite memory of just, um, there's a little, like a lawn at Maple South, we call it the Maple South Lawn, we're very original. Um, but people would like sled down the lawn, all, like the hill down the lawn, and just like had, there's a snowball fight that the Siri for West kind of put together. And so just like, nobody has class the next day, so that there, so there's not like the stress of school and people could just have fun and like do their typical snow day activity is probably one of my favorite things mm -hmm. from last year. Definitely a lot of impromptu sledding. Yes, yeah. yes. Also, shameless plug, um, all three of us CREs have dogs, and all three of our dogs love meeting people. So if, when you get here, you're missing your dogs at home, your pet at home, and you see us out, please come say hi to us. Like, that's how we love talking to y'all. We know some, you know, y'all want to see the dogs more than us. Mm -hmm. um, but come talk to us. They're gonna be in a lot of the programs. Um, so if you're missing that, missing your dogs back home or just a pet in general, and you need someone to unconditionally love you, um, that would be our dogs <laughs> and us. We'll, we'll do it too. But um, our dogs will love you, um, and they want to say hi to all of y'all. I'd like to change my answer. My favorite memory is now um, my residents from last year saying goodbye to my dog on move out day. That's Aww. my little heart. <laughs> all right. Well, um, we had four questions left, and then I think we can start bringing it to a close. Um, can we bring? Do we bring a shower curtain? There's already shower curtains in here, but you could probably bring your own, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. um, some people will, like take them off and then like fold them, put them underneath the sink, and then put them back on in the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. And then some people will just bring a shower curtain and put it over the other one, so it's like two shower curtains. Oh, uh, gotcha. Um, you can do either, but you can't like throw away the shower curtain that we provide you. That has to be here at the end of the year. Gotcha. And then someone has to show the shower space again. And so this is what it looks like. And then we had another question. We had two questions about the uh, two the two bedroom um, room that we saw earlier. So I figured we can go over there and in there since we've, we've already seen it. It's two people we're asking. Are we done in here? Yeah, I, th I think so. Do you think we can end in the uh, mm -hmm. yep. in that two person suite? Sounds good. So we're back in 419. Alright, then just show it around really quickly. Alright, and everyone be sure to thank Hope for giving us the lovely tour. And yeah, and this will be uh, put on our YouTube channel and on the, uh, the pages of the residence halls um, for you all to see again. But yeah, Hope, you can go ahead and sign us out. Thanks again. Uh, do we have um, no, the only question was just showing the room itself. Um, so yeah, that's it. You can go ahead and sign us out. Alrighty, I was a pleasure having you guys here today. I will probably see some of you guys over the school year since I'll be in RA and Maple West again. And I hope you guys have the, enjoy the rest of your summer and I'll see you doing move out. Thank you.